defending Americans against all enemies, foreign and domestic, should be the top presidential priority from day one. From the Middle East to Europe, from Africa to America, the evil specter of Islamic Jihad has reared its ugly head again and again to threaten, torture, maim, and kill. Now is the time to pray for our new president to counter this death cult. President-elect Trump, tomorrow you will become the president of the United States. We, Faith Leaders for America, want you to know you have our prayerful support as you begin to counter jihad and protect Americans from Islamic terrorism. When you label the Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization, we support you. Each member of the Faith Leaders for America reflects varied backgrounds and experiences, yet we share a very, very common sense of duty and are motivated by a common love for God, for our nation, and for our citizens. The most aggressive ideological enemy of freedom, the United States, Israel, and all who will not bow the knee to their totalitarian view of life is Islamic Jihadism, the Muslim Brotherhood, and their fixation on the advancement of Sharia law. The Muslim Brotherhood is a dangerous organization. It's the cancer underlying the eruption of violent jihad. The objective of the Muslim Brotherhood is to subjugate all people to the rule of Islam. And as the two swords of their logo suggest, to achieve that objective by violence if necessary. And anybody who would not stand and call this what it is, Islamic terrorism, and use the phrase, is unworthy to be in government and is unworthy to be called a religious leader. You know what our job is? Our job is very simple. Our job is to bring the truth. Just because people want to hide their heads in the sand does not obviate us from that mission. What we're hoping for and what we're praying for is I had the privilege of traveling with Mr. Trump, opening up for him in several states uh, across this country. I'm praying that he will not follow the failed and up policies of his predecessor and that he will stand courageously, that he will espouse the facts of what the Muslim Brotherhood is really all about. And it is to not just destroy our way of life, it is to totally destroy America. I have Muslims in my family. I love them. They love me. I wouldn't, for anything in the world, want to hurt them or discriminate against them. And the bishop isn't the only one who has Muslims in his family. I have them, too. And the Muslims in my family, while we, uh, of course, disagree on certain theological issues, are as moderate as they come. I have fought with Muslims. I have fought to defend Muslims in the Balkans. Both the Bush administration and the Obama administration, the only groups of Muslims that they reached out to were those that are the enemy. Now it's time to take the Muslim Brotherhood seriously. And after, frankly, years of appeasement and political correctness and dangerous romanticizing, it's time for our government to declare that the Muslim Brotherhood is a terrorist organization. Now, we've heard President Trump say he wants to make America great again. He wants to make America safe again. We are here as faith leaders to say one of the first and most important things you can do to strengthen our national security and to keep Americans safe is to recognize and declare that the Muslim Brotherhood is indeed a terrorist organization.